So the international break, yes, thank God it is over. Manchester United back in action this weekend against Swansea at home. This is who I think Jose Mourinho should be starting in that game. So a little short break, as you can see, not that many videos on United People's TV, sorry about that, but there was nothing to talk about, nothing of any real substance. So I've decided to take a little bit of a break, but as I said, football is back this weekend. Man United playing against Swansea, coming into the game off the back of three positive Premier League results, not so much in the Champions League. That's been a real punch to the gut for the season, really, because the Champions League was our focus, as far as I'm concerned. The Premier League, yes, was second, yes, we're doing well, you know, high above Arsenal. Spurs, you know, we've got a decent gap building there, but City have won the league. So Man United's focus for me was the Champions League and we were awful against Sevilla. But it doesn't mean that we can't keep going in the Premier League. And that's what I want to see us do against Swansea. And I will play a 4-2-3-1 in this game and I'll show you who I'm going to start in goal. David De Gea, right back Antonio Valencia with Ashley Young left back and a centre-back partnership of Eric Bailly and Chris Smalling. Why is there no Luke Shaw? I hear you cry. I don't know what's going on with Luke Shaw. I'm not even going to try and explain it. It's pointless because I really have no idea. I would start Luke Shaw. Mourinho, it's gone back to the situation where it seems personal. We're not really sure what's going on. I don't really know if Shaw's going to play for United again. That's the situation it looks like at the moment. Antonio Valencia, no questions asked. Right back. Centre-back partnership by in Smalling. I've had my say on Chris Smalling plenty. And I would probably start Phil Jones there if I thought he was going to be fit, but I'm not sure if he is. He's had a little bit of a rest and a break. Maybe he will be, but Eric Byers certainly should be starting there if... Or no, he, just, he should just be starting. doesn't matter who he's playing alongside. Now, in midfield, we're going for changes. But Tom and A, he pulled out of international duty with Scotland with an injury, but even if he was fit, I wouldn't start him in this game. I want to explain why. I would start Matic alongside Pogba in a midfield two that worked brilliantly for United at the start of the season. It worked because Matic in that midfield two just dropped a little bit deeper, effectively sitting at what would be the point of a diamond in a midfield four, allowing Pogba just to drift in front. It does mean there's more defensive responsibility on Pogba to come back, but doing that and Matic covering the defence allowed Pogba to go forward. And he saw how brilliant Pogba was for France. A stunning free kick, but just his overall performance and his swagger. That's what you want to see from Paul Pogba. That's why United fans go on about him so much, because we know he's capable of that. That's what we want to see against Swansea this weekend. Now, for the front four, I would go Martial on the left, I would go Sanchez in the middle, Mata on the right, and I would go Lukaku up front. And again, I want to explain exactly why. Martial should be starting on the left for Manchester United. No questions asked. Easily our best performer there this season. No questions asked. But Sanchez in the middle, This I was thinking about this off camera first. Should I play Lingard there? Would I play Lingard there? Or Mata maybe? But Sanchez for his work rate. You know, he hasn't been that good. In all honesty, he hasn't hit the ground running like he thought we would. But I think he's still easily got that in him. And hopefully that will come against Swansea. And playing him in that number 10 role adds a little bit of support for Pogba because he'll drop a little bit deeper. They can have some decent interplay. And it allows Pogba, I don't know, a little bit more freedom maybe going forward. Because not the Sanchez were covering, but there's bodies in the middle. Playing someone like Mata there, he wouldn't cover as much ground. You could start Lingard there, but I'm going to play Mata on the right for possession. Because if I play Lingard there, it's going to be Martial, Sanchez and Lingard with Lukaku up front. We're not going to be really have the ability to hold the ball in the opposition's half. And that makes a big, big difference to United going forward, especially in bringing the fullbacks into play. That's why I would start Mata on the right, but I would expect him to drift into the middle and switch with Sanchez on occasion as well. And of course, I'm playing Romelu Lukaku up front. You know, he scored again for Belgium. I think he's got 10 goals in his last six games for Belgium now. He is just having a fantastic few weeks of form. Hopefully that will continue against Swansea before Man City next weekend. We all know what will happen or what could happen if we beat Swansea and I think Man City are playing Everton. Man City could win the title at the Etihad. So United, I don't know what we can do at this point. It's our own fault for letting it happen, I suppose, but City having the anomaly season they're having, nobody was ever gonna stop them. But focus on United and focus on Swansea and focus on this weekend. United just had to keep going, I suppose, in the Premier League. The Champions League is now over. We've got the FA Cup semi coming up against Spurs. That's going to be very important for Mourinho and for the United players. But this is who I would start against Swansea at the weekend. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video. And just to let you know, I'm going on a little bit of a holiday. I'm going to Ghana for 10 days. So the videos you may see on the channel in the next two weeks could be slightly strange. But just enjoy them anyway. But anyway, 
Take it easy.